Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Tuesday the 11th of December comes to you from London. <coughs> and we start by looking at the dollar uh, rising again this morning back into bullish territory. Markets recovering a little bit last night, especially in the US, so we, we are seeing um, a little bit of a return uh, to positive sentiment. So dollar bullish on all three time frames again. Euro is therefore just a little bit weaker against the dollar, not quite bearish on the short term chart. And we do have some upside targets, um, but still medium term bearish. And the long term chart is gaining in, in its bearishness all the time. Dollar against the uh, Japanese yen is bullish on all three time frames, uh, although there is a little bit of a shortage of upside targets on the short term chart. Against the pound, uh, the pound sank quite heavily against the dollar yesterday. Um, it's up slightly this morning, but is clearly bearish on all three time frames with downside targets. And most importantly, uh, as we hit 15 month lows in the pound yesterday against the dollar, we've activated downside targets. Um, <coughs> the uh, they're now to parity and 117. So yesterday's move is very serious for sterling indeed. And looking at the euro, we're seeing um, sterling pushing lower here as well. Uh, against the Swiss franc, sterling is lower and against the Aussie dollar also lower. Uh, Bitcoin down another third of a percent this morning, uh, still looking pretty bearish on the medium and long term charts. The S&P 500 index recovered slightly last night, as we said, it opened down, but actually managed to rebuild in the day. We see here the candle on the daily chart was just really pushing lower. And then we recovered back to redeem ourselves somewhat. But at the moment, we are constantly just testing those new lows. The Nasdaq, much the same picture, of course, uh, didn't actually manage to take out the November low as did, did the, the wider market. And the Dow was uh, actually even taking out the low that had set back in July. So <clears throat> we are seeing uh, quite big moves there. The Russell 2000 index is lower and the uh, uh, E-mini uh, S&P is down 0.2% this morning. The Nasdaq E-mini down 0.2% does suggest a slightly lower opening. Uh, the FTSE 100 index is actually up this morning. Uh, recoveries in Asia and that recovery last night in the US helping. And lower sterling, about 75% of UK uh, FTSE 100 companies' earnings come in foreign income, which means the lower pound drives uh, these stocks higher on uh, a, an earnings gain from the currency. Uh, looking at the 250, we're lower here as well doesn't benefit as much from lower sterling and we are seeing downside uh, targets still in train here. The DAX is up just under 1% this morning so we're seeing a recovery here as well but bearish on all three time frames clearly bearish downside targets of 11% 7% 9% on the different time frames remembering this is my long term my medium term and my short term so the DAX still although it's up this morning still looks pretty bad and the CAC Courant also bearish on all three time frames, although the downside targets here are less clear. We we only have one downside target on the medium term chart. The Japanese market was actually down um, uh, about uh, three quarters of a percent. Uh, stronger yen over the last few days hasn't helped there. Hang Seng has been uh, pretty flat uh, overnight, just slightly up. And the uh, the Shanghai market was also just up. Uh, the Sensex index, um, was up slightly but still bearish on all three time frames and the Aussie market having had a terrible day the day before was up 0.4% uh, overnight. Commodities wise Brent crude is down a third of a percent this morning so we're back into bearish territory on the short term chart. The key thing is can we hold on to that low that we saw. Uh, WTI we're seeing also um, bearish and actually testing that low a little bit more than Brent. So we're not out of the woods yet. US Nat gas hovering at this $4.50 level. The fact we're holding that is pretty bullish given the jump to there. Gold is sitting at $12.47 this morning. Uh, has been as high as $12.50 yesterday. So we are seeing gold actually being the beneficiary of the uncertainty in financial markets. And uh, silver also looking more bullish as well. US 10-year yields sitting at 2.87%. 
Uh, we still do have the long-term targets on the charts here, 3.8% uh, and 4.07%, but the jury is starting to be a little bit out about uh, whether the Fed will now raise rates, given everything that we're seeing. And we are seeing um, downside targets to 275, 269, that one not yet activated. If we go there, we deactivate these targets. Um, a move below 275 would um, be bearish. Uh, German bonds pulling back a little bit this morning on the increased improved sentiment. That data all coming from Thomson Reuters Icon. <coughs> if we look at uh, Yahoo Finance, we just look at uh, the stocks um, themselves. Again, we see the Nikkei was down a third of a percent here, uh, but most other Asian markets were up. Uh, the Copsy was down. Uh, Korea, and we also saw the uh, the Taiwan index down, Jakarta down as well, but most markets in Asia were up. Looking at uh, the Nasdaq just quickly, uh, the, the, the majors, we had Alphabet up 0.6%, Amazon up 0.73%, Apple up 0.6%. Uh, so not ma massive stellar rises here, still worrying that Apple is making those new lows. So that's really uh, a key factor here. And if we look at some of the other stocks, we've got Facebook, we're actually up uh, 3%. Uh, given their falls of late, that's still um, a, a, just a small counter trend move. Microsoft, uh, we're up 2.64%. That's a stronger move for Microsoft, still holding on to its relative strength here, looking at that uh, chart with the Dow. And Tesla up 2% as well, bucking the trend, one of the few stocks that's held on to its bullish medium-term position. Having had a terrible start to the year, Tesla actually is outperforming now, and we're seeing that again on the relative uh, increasing here. Taking a look at the Aussie market, uh, the best performers uh, were TPG Telegram up 5.7%, Saracen Minerals up 4.9%. But if we go to the other end of the market, we did still have Sigma Healthcare down 6%, QBE Insurance down 4%. Big dives there. We're seeing a lot of stocks just doing this where they are breaking through. China, uh, if we look at the Chinese market quickly, uh, quite a few stocks up on the on the green on the green side. The max up 2.8%. The minimum, China Petroleum up down 1%, so not big sell-offs there in China. Looking at Hong Kong, uh, Sunny Optical up 6%, and if we look at the downside, we had uh, Want Want China Holdings down 5%. Uh, that chart still looking bearish with new lows being made, so it's interesting we're seeing that. The Indian market, again, the best performers, Yes Bank, although they've had a terrible uh, time this year, up uh, some 6%, a lot of volatility showing through there. Sun Pharmaceuticals up 5%, terrible looking chart. Asian Pates also just struggling to regain um, some bullishness there. On the downside, we had Hindustan Petroleum down 3%. Noticing these stock, a lot of these stocks feature at the top of the bottom of the leaders board uh, each day, and we're seeing HDFC Bank actually up, and looking pretty good still on their long-term trends. Looking at uh, the Nikkei 225, um, uh, we had uh, Family Mart up 4.7%, but on the downside, Show a Shell down 7%, we had quite a lot of stocks worse off than that, hence the fall in Tokyo. Looking pretty bearish on the um, on the charts here as well, as we see in that uh, that relative index. Taking a look at European markets uh, this morning, we've got the FTSE 100 now open. This price is coming in live from Yahoo. Uh, so just ranking by percent, we've got Ashted up there. Uh, top performer up 6%, but the chart is not looking good. WPP up 5.6%. Again, just oversold, uh, and, and we're seeing a little bit of a re relief rally, but um, still pretty bearish. Underperforming the Dow Jones index this year by um, some 60, uh, by some 28, uh, 38%. So really, uh, really not looking great. Intertech Group. Um, up a little bit this morning, but again, looking terrible here. Uh, we're noticing a few of the um, the uh, uh, resource stocks like Anafagasta, Everaz, uh, Rio Tinto, look, looking quite good this morning. Uh, on the downside, we've got financials, basically standard life, 
um, Lloyd's Banking Group. So we're seeing banks and financials being quite badly hit here. Centrica down uh, uh, 1%. Morrison Supermarkets down 1.6%. And really diving away there. That's that's now starting to break the long-term trend. Taking a look at the 250. Um, this is the FTSE 250 again. Prices coming live from Yahoo Finance. Um, NVIDIA up 4.9%. Vivo Energy up four uh, percent, so still bearish looking charts and massive underperformance on that relative chart. If we go the other way, look at Super Dry um, down a further nine percent this morning, so really sinking to new lows there, making multi-year lows there on Super Dry. If we look at the weekly chart here, uh, we can see really back to levels. Uh, not seen since uh, they went public. So sinking to new lows, having been as high as 2100, now at 560. So they've quartered in value uh, this year. So Thomas Cook also further woes this morning, down another 5%. Uh, and again, we're seeing the relative underperforming the Dow Jones index by 75% this year. Um, so some really big falls there. Looking to Europe, just across the Eurostock 600 list, uh, we've got uh, Ashton WPP. They were the stocks we talked about. In Copenhagen, we've got Ambu Group um, up 5%. Maybe just been finding a bounce on the long term, but uh, the medium term chart still looking pretty terrible. Uh, and looking at the other end of the scale, uh, we've got... Um, uh, here we've got Standard Life. We've talked about them this morning. Financials, sewers in Paris down 2.7%. Um, and uh, Heller G, uh, in uh, Germany down 2%. So we are still seeing some pretty terrible charts. We see the prices coming in here live from Yahoo this morning. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.